All right, welcome back to the Hood Cook. This is episode three. We're doing a chicken mole today. People like it, people don't. There's 45 different ways people make it. I'll show you how I make it. But first off, I do want to thank everyone that has been supporting the Hood Cook from episode one to episode three. It ain't much, but hey, you know what? Little things make me happy. So first and foremost, what you gotta do? Wash them hands. Get some hot water, and I do use Ajax and antibacterial. Good stuff. Get these all nice and washed up. And dry it down. All right. First, what you're going to need, nice pan. You don't need a deep one. Uh, I'm just balling on a budget right now, so stuck with the deep one. Go ahead and grab that. Get some aluminum foil. the bottom of it. Don't need too much. There you go. Right that bottom of it. Good. Right. So I'm going to curl it over like so. Yeah. There we go. Once you got that nice and covered at the bottom, <coughs> yourself some olive oil. Good stuff. I'm going to just drizzle it on the bottom. Maybe about mm, a couple of teaspoons, tablespoons, who knows. Depending on how big of a pan you got, how much chicken you're using. If you want to go ahead and mix it up, you go ahead and can this. That's what I do. Ain't no big deal. Yeah. What I also like to do, bring a little seasoning salt at the bottom. That looks like a little spoon. That's what I'm calling it. Come up top right here. Grab me some vinegar. Oil and vinegar, who knew, huh? Alright, go ahead. Throw that in there. Probably about half a cup or so. Remember, you can use canola oil, you can use peanut oil. I just use olive oil because I kind of like it and I got a plethora of it, so might as well use it. Go ahead and give her a mix. Of course, you know what I got to put on? The gusto. Because I'm a garlic eating motherfucker and I love using garlic. Go ahead and sprinkle some at the bottom. Right. So grab some chicken. Right here, I'm using chicken thighs today. You can use chicken legs. Some people use the whole and do it that way. Uh, I'm going to eventually shred this up, but I'm going to use chicken thighs. So if you can't use chicken legs, don't let people say you can't shred chicken legs. Full of shit. Don't matter. You're cooking it. Go ahead and line them up in here. You can skin the chicken if you want. We're on a time. I don't think I keep you here for about 45 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and just... Take care of that when I'm done. I'm going to get done, wash your hands, chicken, salmonella, shit like that. You know, you don't want to pass that on. Scratch your nothing in the pool like that. Alright. Some more seasoning salt. Slip that right on top. And then you don't want to over season it because the mole itself is going to give you a real good taste so you don't want too many flavors going left, right, this, there, you know, the same stripper party. Then the spoon. Just sprinkle a little bit of pepper on that. Not too much. Pepper is a pretty heavy spice. Put too much and you go like that. You don't want to do that. It's like getting blowjobs and shit. Um, grab a little bit of garlic. You know my idea of a little bit. Shit load. Now also I've already preheated my oven because I didn't think you want to see me that long taking care of the oven and shit like that. To about 350. Some people say, oh yeah, you can only do it at 375. As long as it cooks, that's all that matters and it will cook, don't worry. Grab a little bit of onion powder. I don't know why I like that smell, but I do. Alright, just sprinkle it up on top like so. 
Yeah. Yeah, maybe about a teaspoon or so. Maybe a little bit more, depending on how much you like onion. I like onion. Oh, I love garlic. All right. You got that all nice and pretty? Here is the trick. You want to add more foil over top. Because when you cook uncovered chicken, not everybody is good and can get it to come out nice and moist and easy to tear apart. So if you cover it, it's kind of steaming it. So it comes out tasting fucking time. It comes out falling off the bone. Give me a little bit more because I got a little steam hole. I don't like that. I remind my producer I'm going to find my sister some more a little foil because, yeah, I ran out. I'm going to get it all nice and rolled. Like well, like I said, the steam is just going to go through, go through, mix it up all nice and sexy like, and it's going to come out smooth. See, I don't got a way cool beep, but I got a gas stove, so it's not going to beep tell me when it's preheated, so I kind of got to do this one guesstimate. Don't do that, you will catch fire. Yeah, that's it right there. Go ahead. Grab that. I set it in for about a good hour or so. If you want, you know, you can go ahead and get a little egg timer to time that up. Use your phone, text message, go have sex with your wife. You never know. It may take that long. Yeah, don't lie to me. But, yeah, so about 45 minutes to an hour. Check it out. Cut one open. Make sure it ain't too pink. Like I said, salmonella. All right, after 50 minutes or so, you, you got your chicken right here. All you got to do is de-skin it, take out the bones and all that good stuff. Grab another bone. GB, it was AWOL last week. Found it again. That's all you want to do is, like I said, once you get it all good, just pull that skin right off. You can leave some of it on, but you're really looking for the fat and the bone to get out of here. Like I said, real easy. Some people don't like doing it. Some people actually de-fat it and de-bone it. What they call it before. I don't, just because I'm cool like that. That's how I handle my business. I just go ahead and just start shredding her up. You can do it as you know, big chunks, little chunks. It doesn't really matter. All you're looking to do is get all that shit off. There you go. I'll throw that in right there. That boom. Go ahead and see. See? Comes right off. And like usually on the ends of the fat. Let's go ahead and just toss it right there. I like to cook with the fat on just because it gives it a little more flavor. You know, some people on Weight Watchers and all that stuff, they're not a big fan of it. But like I said, you know what, you can do big, big little pieces, it doesn't matter. Look at that, see? So, like a few big chunks right there, give you a mouthful. Hey, hey, yeah. like that one, huh? So I just shred her on up. Like I said, it really depends on how much, you know, how many people you're cooking for. I'm usually cooking for three, so I usually use a, a whole bowl, maybe three pounds I believe it is, but that doesn't count with the bone, so really, probably about a pound and a half, if that. Alright, go ahead and that up. Make sure you take all the bones out, you don't throw it in this one, because that's the good bowl. Go ahead and pull that fat right off. Look at that. I wish I could do that to myself, pull a couple pounds of fat off me. One day, one day. Shred that bitch up, look at that. Oh yeah, see, I'm a thigh man, I love the thighs. See my wife, she got some thighs, uh-huh. There we go, rip that shit off. There we go. Yep, all right. See if we can perform some movie magic. And with movie magic, it's all nice and shredded up. All right, good. see? GB comes in handy. Put we'll toss that to the side. All right, what we're going to do now, we'll go ahead and toss the chicken right there for now. We're going to get yourself a pan and two cups of water. We're going to go ahead and come back here. Maybe a little more than two cups, but that's all right. Go ahead. Pour that right in. Turn on the old clicker. That right there. You want to get that boil. Now, while you're getting that to boil, I, um, you'll serve it with rice. I'm going to use a rice cooker because I'm not that good at doing the old steamed rice. My father, he is the master at it. 
So for three people, I'm going to do probably about a good three cups of rice. I got this rice cooker at the old Wally World. Cost me like ten bucks, and believe me, it's good stuff. Really good stuff. All right, once your water starts to get a good boil in there, I threw an extra cup of water just because I like the sauce. The sauce comes out good. What you're going to put in next, good all right there. No chicken bouillon. I'm telling you, this stuff comes out great. All right, go ahead. It's usually a tablespoon for every cup of water. So I actually follow that because I don't want it to come out too chickeny. So, like I said, the first one was a couple, maybe a few ounces less of a cup of water. So I'll go ahead and toss that in. Put that over here. Look at that. You see that? Oh, coming out good. That's why I love gas stoves. Heat up a lot easier than the electric ones. Yeah, they're cool. You got more control, but you gotta love the gas. It heats up in the quickness. Now, the good stuff. More than right here. This stuff, man, yeah, comes out good. It's like a spiced chocolate almost. It sounds disgusting, but it's really good. All right, that's starting to boil pretty good, so let's turn down the heat some. Go ahead and, uh, about right there you don't want it to evaporate on your ass and that fucking sucks you gotta have more water fuck with it blah blah all right i'm grabbing a regular little spoon shitty part is it's just pretty hard so i'm probably gonna use about a couple tablespoons don't be scared to use some of that juice in there that juice in there is good I ain't gonna hurt no one let me grab another spoon over here oh i found a fork i'll use that instead there you go Pop that in there. Keep that right there. Don't keep that too close for too long because it'll get nice and hot in your burger shelf. Yep, I've done did it. Let's kind of break it up some. Be careful because this will shoot at you. I've done that a couple hundred times. One day I'll learn. But not today. Alright. Mm. Let's do one more good heaping. Let's pop that bitch in there. There we go. See, if you look at it, you can tell you got some chocolate, but there's a lot of spice in it. Put that right there. Let all the juices come off it. Close that up. Wipe the old hand off. Move the fork so you don't burn yourself. All right. Get that. All right. Look at that. It's already starting to look sexy. Yep. Okay, now what you got to do is you got to find that little chunk, or the several chunks that we tossed in, and just get it to break up. I usually just pound it. Yeah, I'm a pounder. And just start smashing it in. There we go, look at that. Don't be scared to make a mess at your kitchen. Kitchens get dirty, shit happens. Smash that shit out. And once you get it, you can already get that smell. You can tell how much spice you can know. You know there's chocolate in it, but you get that spice in your nose and shit comes out fucking bomb, I'm telling you. That's it. A lot of people make it differently. They'll get the ready-made stuff and it's already boom bam done. I like to make my own because I like to add a little more of this and that in it. So let's go ahead and smash that up. Yeah. So you can tell the color's already changing on it. Some people serve it with, like I said, with the, the whole legs, the whole thighs. Let me turn this up a little bit more. The whole legs and thighs and just make the sauce and pour it over. I like to do it with shredded chicken and pour it, you know, put it over some rice. It's more filling, I feel. Get full more. Plus, it's an easier leftover. Ask my roommate, ask my wife. They, they love the leftovers. See it's starting to thicken up a little bit, not as, not as watery, it gets more of like a soup, stoop type as Rachel Ray would say. There we go. Go ahead. If you want, you can get a smasher, like a potato smasher, and just do that in. I'm hood, I don't care. Alright, what we got here, look at it. Everything's pretty much all done up. Nice and you got little small chunks that are gonna eventually break up. What you want to do is go ahead and toss that right there. Now, where did I put it? Right here. 
Believe it or not, yes. Peanut butter. I put peanut butter in my... Let's see, I made about three cups, so... Maybe two good heapings right there. So probably one... Let's do a, a scotch more. Scotch more. Right there. Okay, I'm going to do that. Let's set it down. It says the heat of it will take everything off the spoon. See, it just starts to liquefy. You're not going to get a peanut butter taste. You'll get a hint of it, but it, well, I call it, what it does is pretty much just helping to thicken it up a little bit more. Come on, who doesn't like the thick ones, eh? 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 Don't lie to me. Amen, brother. <laughs> all right, look at that. Get that, the spoon's coming up, all good. There we go, good enough, fuck it. I ain't got time for this shit. You guys got shit to do, I got shit to do. Mix it on up. There we go. No matter what, you're still going to get that full, that spice smell. It's going to be in your nose, so you know if you smell more peanut butter than anything, then you know you use a little too much more peanut butter. So then what I got to do, add a little bit of water. Start the process over. Next thing you know, you got a shitload, and you like, fuck, what the hell do I do? Not a problem. What I got to do, bake some more chicken, and have it again. Telling this is good the next morning too. No leftover tastes a little weird. Uh, this one tastes good. Alright. Look at that. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Next ingredient. Yes, you're going to put more chocolate. You can use a peanut butter cup. I've heard of people just tossing in a couple peanut butter cups. Me, I think it's too sweet. I'm not a fan of it. I like to use the dark chocolate because it's got more of a mild taste. Not too bad. Let's see. Let's throw. One, two, three, four. Um, little chunk right there. Do that. Let that melt on up. When I said the dark chocolate. It got a sweet taste, but it's a very mild sweet. So you don't overpower any of the flavors that you got. There we go. See it kind of getting a little thicker. There we go. Go ahead and turn up the heat. There we go. Get it to a nice good boil. So everything breaks up nice and pretty like. You got a pretty mouth, boy. There we go. Go ahead and mix that up. Yeah, see, it's coming like a good creamy, but it's still a little, still a lot of loose and all fine. Come on, they all can't be winners. There we go, just mix her on up. Go ahead, you grab your chicken right there. Give her, give her a little swirl. There you go, lady. If you ain't whistling, I ain't listening. Go ahead, just toss her on in right there. Don't be scared, don't be scared. Use your hands, use your hands, look at that. See? Gotta get dirty when you cook. Come on. Like I said, it's like sex. You're not getting dirty, you're not having fun. Wash the old hands. Dry them up. And just go ahead and just mix it in. There we go. I said I'm a fan of the sauce. The sauce is, I don't know, I just feel it makes the meal. The chicken's also good, but I like the sauce. I can just drink the sauce, but my wife won't let me. Go figure. Look at that. There we go. Oh my, man, I'm telling you, if you ain't whistling, I ain't listening. Look at that. Like, it's so beautiful. Look at it. Oh, man, it's going to soak right into the rice. It's going to be so beautiful. It's going to taste like titties. Oh, good titties, too. Not the mugly titties. There we go. Yeah. All right. Give her amazing. You can go ahead and let it sit on warm. For a while, not that long, just till your rice cooker is done. This probably got another, I don't know, five or ten minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some movie magic, let it sit, smoke a cigarette. Who knows? Can't tell you all my secrets. We'll go ahead and put her on low, right there. If you if you got kids and you're worried about it burning out and popping, feel free to cover it. It's all right. It's not a big deal. Mixing up all nice and thick, like looking good. Now time to add extra, no more flavors. 
Uh, first and foremost, again, gotta have that gusto. Get some garlic in it. And if you got too much of a peanut butter taste and you don't want to add no more chocolate, diabetes and shit like that, I'll go ahead and just add some garlic in. I add garlic just because it mixes the flavors up. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Come on, marry the white woman. Mix the flavors. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, that's sexy. God. I'm going to have to cheat on this one, my wife. A little spoon, get a little bit of pepper. Not too much pepper. You just want maybe a teaspoon, maybe a little less. You never know. Like I said, it all depends on you how much, how much gusto you like. I'm feeling saucy. I think I want to do some onion powder. Do some onion powder. Don't. Feel free to mix other spices too. Like I said, make it your own. You, know, you, throw some, you can throw some curry powder in it. If you want more of a grit taste, you can throw some cumin in it. You know, like I said, what you should really do, buy yourself a spice rack. Go to the store. It don't got to be fancy. I get most of my spices at the 99 cent store. Come on, same thing. And that shit lasts me forever. Go there, get you a nice spice rack, and all you gotta do is just start tasting them. See what you like, see what it is, see how you can work with it. Comes out about, I did about a half a teaspoon ish of uh, some onion powder. Oh, coming out here, beautiful. So sexy. Oh, so sexy. Go ahead and throw that right there. I'm gonna turn off our heat, and our rice is done. Go ahead. Grab a pan, a little plate. Let's see, where is my rice bread? Here we go. Like I said, 10 bucks is all good. Alright. Let's do a little plate for you guys. I want to get one of them humongous plates. There we go. There we go, look at that. Oh. Rice comes out good like that. I'm not the steamer. I, I can't. I could try to do white rice on, on the stove, but it never comes like that. I'm not my dad. My dad eats the fluff rice like no other. I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Grab your little scoop right here. Now remember, the sauce is what kind of mi mixes it just just right. So you want to get just enough. You don't want too much. You don't want too little. So go ahead, grab that. Just throw it on top. Right there. Look at that. Now this will probably serve me, my roommate, my wife, and we'll probably still have leftovers for maybe her lunch and maybe he can have lunch. Me, I'll just have a sandwich. Go figure. You can check it out right there. Look at that. Looking good. Got rice, got good color. If you smell it, you get the, smice, the spices and you can kind of get a little hint of peanut butter. But you won't taste it. That's the fun part. You won't taste it. <coughs> I want to again thank everybody for watching the Hood Cook. Appreciate it. I got a lot of supporters. You guys make me proud, actually. I got an email. Someone threw down the gauntlet and told me to try a vegan. Uh, I told them I was married, and then she actually explained what a vegan was. So um, I'm going to start doing my research, figure out what kind of vegan meals I can throw together. If not, I think I see a guest cook on. Again, thank you very much for watching the Hood Cook.